Virginia Gauntlet. A chance for British Royal Marines and U.S. Marines to continue their camaraderie established through years of shared combat. You are not stopping there. Go on, Tom! I've uh, worked with the USMC in Afghanistan as well as uh, obviously a tour like this. It's fantastic to get some nice things in as well as see some of the bad sides of the USMC. It uh, makes sense uh, for us to be doing this more often. British Royal Marines and the Marine Corps have been together since we went to Iraq, Afghanistan, so it's only natural that we come back together freaking once the war starts dwindling down. Um, build, build teamwork, kind of get that competitive adrenaline rush, but yet, you know, the stress of it is, you know, we, at the end of the day we can go and have a beer together and shake hands, so uh, there's definitely a competitive spirit in both uh, entities. The two Marine Corps competed against one another over several weeks in everything from skeet shooting to boxing. It began during a visit from the Royal Marines Commandant. About a year and a half ago, we were, uh, he was back in Washington, we were together, and uh, he asked me, he said, uh, hey, would you be interested in that? Would you be interested in putting together a sporting event? And uh, I said, absolutely, yes. Anytime you can get the two teams, two, two Marine Corps together, it's good for both of us. So that's how it began. The, you know, the Royal Marines always, they, we, they have a spirit that is, uh, it brings out, the, I think, the best and maybe uh, the most spirited part of our Marines. But uh, I hopefully, like I said, I hope this will become an annual event. We have a little bit more time to prepare. We've kind of worked out the kinks after this year. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the, both, both the game and uh, the post-party. Both corps hope to make this an annual event. From Washington, I'm Sergeant Andrew Milner.